Hello Cherries, my name is Jerry Cherry, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the guitar solo to the song Alone from the band Hearts and guitarist Howard Lease. I'm also going to show you why it sounds the way it does, so that you could apply these types of licks to your own solos. If you want a free mp3 of the backing track for Alone that I created for this solo, just email me at info at jerrycherry.com and I'll send it right over. Enjoy the solo. If you're enjoying this video, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you. I just want to quickly mention that to get this sound, I'm using the Universal Audio Apollo Twin audio interface with the Marshall Jubilee plugin. I'm also using my Hot Tone Blues pedal straight into the audio interface. This pedal gives me a sweet overdrive and great sustain. If you're interested in it, I put a link in my description. Okay, so the first riff is... And you're in D sharp minor right here. So here's the D sharp minor pentatonic position. Right? Or D sharp minor. Okay. So you're bending up, 14th fret, a whole step on the B string. Two bends. And the pre bend down. Right? And then you have a, uh, which is the 13th fret on the E string to the 14th. And on the B string, 14, 12, 11. It's kind of a pedal tone with this 14th fret on the E string. Kind of classical sounding. There's a classical name for what that is. You'll have to ask Ingve Malmsteen what that is. <laughs> um, okay. And what that is, is you're just playing over the um, D sharp minor chord. Right? And the second bend, it's really on a B chord. So it's really the third. So it really works beautifully over those changes. Okay, and the next part, which is over the uh, F sharp chord with C sharp. Because right, you're going right down the, the major scale right here with the F sharp. Right, because you know that D sharp minor pentatonic, or D sharp minor, is the relative minor to F, sharp, major. Right? Here's the minor. And here's major, F sharp major. So when it goes to F sharp, C sharp, right here. So this G sharp right here is really the fifth. This G sharp is the fifth of C sharp. So, that's why it works. Okay, so the next riff goes it's on the G string on the 11th fret, 10th fret to the um, 13th fret of the B, I mean of the D string. Right to your minor. Over, once again, over the D-sharp minor chord. The next riff goes... It's on the G-string, 11th fret, B-string, 11th fret, and then the uh, B-string, 12th fret. So you have D-sharp to the B. Look, what do you know? You're ending on a B note here. 
Then the next riff. What that is, is you're bending up the uh, 14th fret and B string, whole step bend. B string, 12th fret, 11th, and then bending up the 16th fret, a whole step to an F. So really, that riff is over an F sharp and a C sharp. Right? Because once again, you're in this F sharp major area. Right? Look at what I'm doing here. I'm bending up an E flat to an F, which over C sharp is a, um, is a third over C sharp. So over that chord, you have a C sharp, it's a third. The next riff goes, as you're up from the E sharp to the F, on that last bend that we just did, you're going to bend down, so you have Free bend down, 16th fret and a B string to the 12th fret. So you're bending, pre bending down from the 16th fret and a B string to the 12th fret B string. What that is, you're just basically going down the minor pentatonic or minor D sharp minor area, hitting a, the uh, 13th fret on the B D string. 11th fret on the G string. 14th fret on the B string. 12th fret, B string. 11th fret, B string. A little trill here. 13th fret, G string. Back to the 11th fret on the B string. So you have... And all that happens over the um, over B chord B chord and um, really an F sharp with a um, A sharp in the bass going down so you have and here's the A sharp right here Next riff goes on the B string, 14th fret, 11th fret, G string, 13th fret. So you have and that's over the G sharp chord. The next riff goes like this, which I really love. This riff. And what that is, it's on the A string. You're hitting the 14th fret on the D string, you're hitting the 13th fret, and then up to the B string, 14th fret, G string, 13th fret, G string, 11th fret. Shift. Ending on the F. So really, this whole riff is kind of going down the scale along with the, the B, F sharp with the A sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And Howard Lee had said that he had improvised this last bit. It's really cool, great story. Next riff goes. What that is, is on the G string, the 13th fret, and the B string, 14th fret. And that goes as the progression continues to go down, which is a um, really, as it goes down from the F sharp, it goes down again. It's a, um, it'll be a C sharp, 
with an E sharp in the bass or an F, whatever you want to call it. Technically, it's E sharp in the key of F sharp. Because here's the chord right here. All right, here's the C sharp, an F in the bass. And here it is, it's in the body. This riff is in the body of the chord. It's the fifth and the root. You have that chord. And the next riff goes. And all that is, it's over the next chord, is over the D sharp minor. And of course, you're right there in D sharp minor. Area, which we play over all the time, right? Our pentatonic. So you have. And that riff is. It's on the E string on the 11th fret and the 13th fret. Do a little trill. Down to the B string, 14th fret. 13th fret, 14th fret. Up to the uh, 16th fret. Then you're gonna bend up from the 14th fret. It's a whole step. So you got. Then a pre bend down from the 14th fret. 13th fret, E string. Okay, and that's over. So you have the. Um, C sharp with the E sharp bass. Then you have D sharp minor. Which is here. Then you have C sharp. Once again, C sharp. So you're bending, you're playing the fifth now of C sharp by this doing this bend. So on this riff, you're playing over the C sharp. So it's the fifth of C sharp, which is the G sharp here. And the final riff is you're taking the B notes on the E string, and bending it up a whole step, which is over a B chord. So it's really, it's a ninth. Instead of just ending on a B. I release a new guitar video every week. I also go live every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I usually perform a song that we could apply some useful theory and scales over. Please join me. I'd love to chat with you. I also go live on Facebook every Thursday night at 7.30 Eastern time. I play my originals and some fun covers. Come join the fun at Facebook slash Jerry Cherry Band. Here's a question. Is there a guitar solo that you would like me to teach? Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to know. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button, hammer on the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be cool, be kind, be cherry. <laughs>